to go today, Mr. Casey, Lieutenant Colonel London, Mr. Venturini, and Mr. Vandegraaff guided T-1 into the air at the Long Beach Airport and landed at Edwards Air Force Base, ushering in a new era in military airlift, one that truly combines strategic and tactical capability. Although that flight was the culmination of years of effort to bring concept to reality, it was just the beginning for the C-17. September 15, 2011 marked the 20th anniversary of the first flight of the C-17 Globemaster III, and the 418th Flight Test Squadron at Edwards Air Force Base marked the historic event with a special ceremony. Many of those in attendance in Hangar 1623 were the men and women who have worked on the C-17 program both then and now. Retired Air Force Colonel George London was the co-pilot on the first flight. When we made that first flight on September 15, 20 years ago, there was a shining light. That light was a C-17 taking off from Long Beach. But what was the power behind that light? That was the team. That was the team. McDonnell Douglas at the time, now Boeing, the Air Force, Army members of CTF, the Flight Test Center, the System Program Office. All of us together worked to make this a successful program. Today, the Air Force employs more than 200 C-17s, an aircraft capable of rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo to main operating bases or directly to forward bases in deployment areas. Four years after first flight, the C-17 was deployed to Bosnia. Since those early days, the Globemaster has supported every major combat contingency that our nation has been involved in, in Iraq, Afghanistan, and el elsewhere. They save life and limb every month through aeromedical evacuation of our wounded at any cost. They support those who respond to disasters of all kinds around the world, whether search and rescue, evacuations, humanitarian aid delivery, natural disaster, from Japan to Chile, Texas to New Zealand, Pakistan, Australia, Indonesia, American Samoa, Shanghai, Antarctica, Burma to Louisiana. In contingency or war, the C-17 fleet continues to deliver. None of this would have been possible without the vision and innovation of a special team. A team dedicated to ensuring those we send into harm's way have the best possible chance of returning to enjoy those liberties that we call upon them to defend. That team is a continuum consisting of all of you who have advanced C-17 capabilities. Today, the 418th Flight Test Squadron continues to test the C-17 in the continuing effort to expand its capabilities. Don Waldman, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.